What a cool thing. Where are we going? We're finally going to Reading. Where's this finished work for the week? And my phone is broken, it's not doing well. So we're gonna go into Reading because we've been wanting to go and see the cool shopping centre. Made it to Reading, Woo! There's so many shops here, but we've only got about three hours before they shut. We're just going to whiz around, look at some stuff and get some bits that we need. So this is the bit where the boat goes all the way through the shopping centre. So we're going to be coming out here, downstream. Flow doesn't look too bad. It's quite quick. It's so weird being here now. We're literally going to be coming through here on the boat tomorrow. Probably around midday as well. <laughs> How cool is it? It's cool seeing it from up here. It looks really like just sort of quite small, I yeah. think, like quite insignificant when you're up here. But when you're going through on the boat, it feels massive. It feels epic. <laughs> I really want an arrow boat to come through so we can stare at them. <laughs> <laughs> Temptations here like donuts and chips. And... Oh. <laughs> it's got to be done when we're in a city, get a bubble tea. Got to buy a new belt because I only ever had one old trusty one and it got robbed. <laughs> Last month all my trousers have been falling down. <laughs> no more now that we're finally near shops. Time to try and get my phone fixed. I did try and speak to my phone contract provider and sort loads of things out. But that's another thing about living on the boat. They just don't understand so they were trying to send it to the house and I was like no please can I collect it from store? It's been a whole thing so Rather than upgrading, I'm just going to fix the phone I've got, which is probably better for the environment anyway, so... I'm just... This phone thing is becoming a nightmare. They told me online that it would definitely be done the same day, within the hour, and now apparently they need it until tomorrow morning, which means we're going to have to try and do some kind of drive-by with the boat. I run up, grab it, and leave. Bearing in mind as well, the lock that we're going to have to wait around on the boat is the horrible one where we got spun around. Oh, you're in the weir. Yeah. Just about to go and scope out where we need to pull over so I can leg it. <laughs> the shopping centre in the morning. So the Apple store is just in there around that corner and the River Kennet's there. So this is probably the best place to drop Amy off so that she can run across the road and go and get her phone back. Though. I say we check the other side. Problem is, is that that weir is quite nasty. It flows quite fast. The lock landings either side are really short, and afterwards it's a one-way traffic light controlled bit through the shopping centre. Option A is that we get the boat into that lock. I solo it very slowly while Amy jumps off and runs down here, grabs the phone and runs back. In the meantime, I do the lock and then try and wait on the landing for as little as possible just in case other boats start showing up. But we don't really want to take up space on that lock landing because we know how stressful that lock is yeah. coming the other way and we don't want to cause another boat stress. Or go through the shopping centre, through the lock and where's wait here? I think we're going to do this because the flow's a lot steadier and it's a lot, lot quieter so we won't be in the way of other boaters so this is the plan. And then you've just got a little bit of a track. Okay, that makes sense. We've come to Yosushi. <laughs> it's 
So if you've seen all of the issues that we had with the hire car, we've been waiting on a refund for the excess that we paid all of this time. And it's finally come through. So it ended up costing us about 500 pounds in total, which with all of your amazing, amazing, amazing donations, that covered it so we're so 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 grateful and we're just glad to be fully putting that behind us so we've come out for some lunch to kind of celebrate <laughs> we genuinely can't express just how grateful we are like the generosity has just been ridiculous and in some cases as some of you will know we did actually try and refuse it because it's just completely overwhelming in the best possible way and it really did help to sort of like pull through that whole horrible saga. So yeah, thank you so much again, everyone. Bus on the way back is different. We don't know where we are now. It's weird, it feels like we're absolutely nowhere near the canals. We're in like a housing estate. It's all right though, it should just be like a 17 minute walk. Hopefully at some point we'll see the river. <laughs> it was cool though to visit um, Reading. I'm glad we got to see it like from that perspective away from the canal and stuff like that. So yeah, it was just a flying visit. And then we'll be whizzing through it tomorrow. <laughs> Once again, Google's brought us down a fast road with no footpath. But we're left at Reading. Bye, Reading. Oh, yeah. I think I saw a narrowboat as well in the bushes over there. I feel like my toes are going to get run over. Google Maps strikes again. Watch your toes. <laughs> Amy, your toes. blew your jeans off. <laughs> Google, I don't know if you're a subscriber to Boat Time, <laughs> but if you are, can you please make maps use paths? <laughs> Just like, have a toggle to be like, only use public footpaths. <sighs> It'd save us a lot of hassle. A small hassle. Go. Quick. Oh no, we've lost the verge. Our toes, our toes are in peril. Burfield. We're nearly there. There's a path, Amy. We're saved. <laughs> Yay. Never mind, it's gone. Surely we're nearly there. Yeah. Made it. Yay. Good mapping, Wes. Thank you very much. So we're nearly at the boat, but we've got to do one last thing first. We've come back to the Cunning Man where we started on the k and to celebrate our third completed canal. Yeah, so we've completely done the k and and that's our third canal completed. Tomorrow morning we're off the k and completely. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh. Go. <laughs> we did it! We did it! I'm glad we were able to have a drink in there. We came in here on the 22nd of October 2022 and it's currently the 2nd of June 2023. If you do happen to come onto the KA, definitely more near the coming man. Always got stuff going on. Such a good pub, really friendly. We really liked it. And the moorings are good. Get up! Time to get off the canal. Time to leave the KA. We're going on the ten! <laughs> Can you tell we're very excited today? Are you excited? Are you excited? I don't really do excitement. Say yes. <laughs> I do scared. <laughs> I'm excited. New bandana. We're ready to go. We've done the engine checks. 
Rufus has been on a walk. I'm so excited to get off the K&A. Like we said, we've loved it, but it's just more like, like looking forward to seeing new things and stuff. It's been a long old seven months. Yeah, been on here for seven months now. First got to wrangle the jungle to try and undo the ropes. I think this is definitely one of the most wild mooring spots we've been on. It's very funny though because looking back before the K&A we would have never dreamed of mooring on here. And now we're like oh that's a nice mooring we'll have that. It's just it learned you a lot as a boater I feel like. Can we all just take a moment to say how cute Wes looks in his little summer shorts? Come on man. And we're off! Yay! Oh, it's so exciting! There's also another narrow behind us, so we might be able to share the annoying, awkward locks with them. There's the cunning man. Our starting and ending checkpoint for the K&A. Such a nice pub. First lock of the day, and one of four left on the K&A. One lock down, and we're cruising with an absolutely wonderful couple. Makes it a lot easier doing the locks, and it's just nice to have a little chat. And the next one should be the most awkward one of the day. It's Fobney lock, and it's the one where the bottom lock landing has got a weir on it, pushing the boat away from it. So closing up the lock can be a little bit tricky going this way. We'll see how it goes. At least we've got two boats now. Breakfast on the move. Are my eyes deceiving me? It's the only bit of Armco on the whole K&A. We've been at Fobney Lock for a while. It's a really slow one to fill. Nearly there though. Thank you. So luckily there's a boat coming up so we don't have to worry about the lock. But it's such a strong bit. Well done Wes. Uh, wasn't that bad? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Definitely helps not having to worry about the gates. We're making progress. We've got two locks left on the K&A. And that one was actually all right. The last one is pretty easy. We've just got the one before the shopping center where we got spun around. So going downstream, we know what's coming. The flow looks fine. So we'll, we, that shouldn't really be a problem at all. Fingers crossed. Here's the boat that we're cruising with. Absolutely wonderful couple, really nice. Coming up to the bit with the houses, which means we're nearly off. Someone's converted an old narrowboat into like a garden, like summer house. So we're coming up now to County Lock, which is a difficult one, because there's a big weir at the side. So I'm gonna hop off at this bridge. Where's is gonna wait there, and uh, we're gonna go set the lock. Looks like they're doing some kind of training drills in the weir. So this lock's particularly difficult because of this big weir. So you come out straight onto it and you have to wait there and fight against the weir. through the shopping centre. Woo! Once that traffic light system's gone, we've got 12 minutes to get through. Whoa, who's that cool looking couple on the bridge over there? Whoa, is that boat time?
I love going through this bit, it's so cool. Look at it! That's just so cool. I love that stretch. Yeah, it's really cool going straight through the centre. Yeah. I don't think there's many places where you can do that. There we go, out the other side. We got in. Time to nip and get my phone. Back in the shopping centre, which is just there. Uh, and your phone should hopefully be repaired by now. Good luck. Ooh. To be fair, if you're ever in Reading, it's probably worth checking out the little trip boat. I think it's only about six pounds. You just get to go right through the middle of the shopping centre. Definitely worth it, I reckon. Yay! Looks like Amy's phone is back up and running. There she is. That doesn't look like a phone that she's carrying. What you got? Nothing. I just had to. <laughs> so I could drive through McDonald's. Yay! A functioning screen. Yay. Nice. Oh, it's pretty good being able to just nip in. I just had to get a McDonald's. How cool is it? We've <laughs> never cruised with a McDonald's before. What a way to enter the Thames in style. <laughs> oh, oh goodness, I'm so excited. And we're off. The drive-by was a success. <laughs> Next stop, the last lock on the K&A. There's the sign entering the K&A. We did it. We Cheers. did it. Hi, <laughs> K&A. I didn't really think through the logistics of trying to eat a burger like this on the move while steering. <laughs> Here we go, last lock. On the inside of I I forgot I don't need that. It's the wheelie ones. Those that don't know, this is what the Thames locks look like. There's usually this sign that says either self-service or lock keeper. You buy your licences from here, but we've already got ours. And then some of them are wheels like this. And some of them are electric. I forgot quite how big these locks are. They look tiny in it. There's so much room spare and I'm not even very close to the front either. Ready? Yeah. So that's it, there's the K&A! I can't believe we're about to turn back onto the Thames. Now? Yeah. Here we go! Ah! So we came in from the left and now we're going to the right! Completely new waters. Oxford that way, central London that way. Bye K&A! Oh, I'm a little bit sad to be leaving it. I've loved it on there. So we came from this way. Here we go, look how wide it is! <laughs> Whoa, off we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Woohoo! Oh my God, it's enormous. It feels so wide. It feels so surreal. Like I feel like the K&A for the last seven months has really felt like home. And now we're just off seeing completely new stuff again. We have no idea what's around the next corner. Ooh! Subscribe to come along on our summer adventure with us. It's going to be a good one. Thanks as always to the Chip Pals and for the bags of chips. And we'll see you next time.